SpaceX's proposal to launch its Starship Super Heavy two-stage rocket 44 times a year from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida is facing significant opposition from its competitors. United Launch Alliance, ULA, and Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin. The Starship is the largest rocket ever built, consisting of the Super Heavy booster and the upper stage spacecraft, both collectively referred to as Starship. This rocket, which could potentially carry up to 100 astronauts, has undergone various design changes over the years. The final version will be 492 feet, 150 meters tall, surpassing the heights of both the Saturn V and NASA's new space launch system. Before SpaceX can obtain a launch license for Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, KSC, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, requires an environmental impact statement to assess the potential effects on the local environment, wildlife, businesses, and residents. The FAA is currently in a consultation phase, allowing the public and organizations to express their views. Blue Origin has requested the FAA to limit the number of launches, citing concerns over the large quantity of liquid methane fuel, which poses a significant explosion risk. They argue that the current plan endangers other companies' facilities, including their own, at KSC. ULA has raised even more extensive objections in a 22-page document. They claim that SpaceX's previous environmental impact assessments were inadequate, as demonstrated by the extensive debris spread from a Starship test flight in April 2023. ULA points out that this poses a serious risk, given that their base is just 3 miles, 4.8 km from SpaceX's launch site. ULA and Blue Origin both suggest alternative solutions. ULA recommends that SpaceX continue launching from Boca Chica, Texas, while Blue Origin proposes building new launch pads further away from existing facilities. Environmental groups also voice concerns about the impact on local wildlife, particularly the disruption caused by frequent launches and floodlights at Launch Pad 39A. An investigation by the New York Times highlighted the environmental damage caused by SpaceX's operations at Boca Chica, sparking a debate about balancing technological progress with environmental protection. While the FAA acknowledges these issues, they also emphasize the importance of Starship for America's space program. ULA also questions SpaceX's decision to land the Super Heavy booster back on 39A instead of offshore, arguing it increases risks to nearby communities and businesses. Additionally, SpaceX's use of a water deluge system to cool the launch pad raises concerns about potential contamination of the local water supply. SpaceX is also exploring the possibility of using Launch Complex 37 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station from 2026, pending another environmental review by the U.S. Air Force. The competition for NASA contracts adds another layer of complexity to the situation. Elon Musk responded to Blue Origin's complaints with a mocking social media post, highlighting the contentious nature of these disputes. Ultimately, the FAA will decide whether the concerns raised by Blue Origin, ULA, and other stakeholders are sufficient to restrict SpaceX's launch plans at KSC. The decision will significantly impact the future of SpaceX's ambitious Starship program. SpaceX is preparing for its fifth test flight of the Starship Mega Rocket, which might happen in the coming weeks. The company recently moved the first stage booster, called Super Heavy, to the launch pad at Starbase, their site in South Texas. SpaceX shared this update on social media with four photos and a 30-second video on X on Tuesday. Flight 5. Super Heavy Booster moved to the pad at Starbase, the company stated in the photo post. They added in the video post, the booster passed the nearly complete Star Factory on its way to the pad. Star Factory is the new large manufacturing facility SpaceX is constructing at Starbase. Once fully operational, Star Factory could produce one Starship daily, according to SpaceX representatives. SpaceX likes using star names. Along with Starship, Starbase, and Star Factory, there's also Starlink, their internet satellite network, which has over 6,000 active satellites. Standing 400 feet, 122 meters tall, Starship is the largest and most powerful rocket ever made. SpaceX has high hopes for this reusable rocket seeing it as a game-changer that will make ambitious space missions like settling Mars more affordable. The first four Starship test flights happened in April and November 2023, and on March 14 and June 6 of this year. During the first flight, the two stages of Starship, Super Heavy, 
and the 165-foot-tall, 50-meter-tall upper stage, also called Starship, or simply Ship, did not separate, leading to a controlled detonation four minutes after launch. Each subsequent launch saw improvements. Flight 4, for example, was fully successful, with both Super Heavy and ship returning to Earth for planned ocean splashdowns. Flight 5 could bring another advancement by catching Super Heavy with the chopstick arms of Starbase's giant launch tower, making refurbishment and reuse more efficient. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk recently mentioned that they aim to attempt this in late July. The fifth flight is anticipated to launch around then. Last Friday, July 5th, Musk announced on X that the mission will take off in four weeks. The upper stage of China's Long March 6A rocket is reportedly generating a significant amount of space debris, exacerbating the issue of orbital debris. On July 4th, the latest Long March 6A was launched from a specially designed pad at the Taiwan spaceport. This 50-meter tall, 530 metric ton rocket has two kerosene liquid oxygen stages and four solid propellant side boosters. Developed by the Shanghai Academy of Space Flight Technology, SAST, a state owned enterprise, the rocket successfully placed two Tianhui 5 Euro 2 remote sensing satellites into sun synchronous orbits at an altitude of about 600 kilometers. S2A Systems, a Swiss company specializing in optical space surveillance systems, detected several objects surrounding the upper stage of the Long March 6A rocket. A tweet from S2A Systems on July 5, 2024, mentioned the detection of debris around the Long March 6A upper stage from the Tianhui 5 2 launch recorded over Australia on July 5, 2024. The cause of the debris remains uncertain. It could be due to the passivation process of the stage or broken insulation. The U.S. Space Force's space domain awareness has not cataloged this debris indicating that the pieces might be very small. S2A Systems pointed out that such debris clouds are not typically seen with other rocket launches. Despite their small size, these objects travel at speeds of around 7 km per second, posing a risk to other spacecraft. SAST has been contacted for comments. S2A Systems also observed around 60 objects around the Long March 6A upper stage, launched in late March. A detailed analysis of images from April 7th showed nearly 60 objects around the CZ to 6A upper stage. The problem of space debris is increasingly significant, posing risks to satellites, spacecraft, and space stations. According to the European Space Agency's Space Debris Office, as of June this year, there are about 40,500 objects larger than 10 cm and 1,100,000 objects ranging from 1 cm to 10 cm in orbit. The ESA has recorded over 640 incidents of breakups, explosions, collisions, or other events causing fragmentation. Various agencies and companies are developing methods to manage and reduce orbital debris. The Long March 6A incident underscores the role of commercial entities in space situational awareness, with amateur astronomers and radio enthusiasts also contributing to the monitoring of significant space events. This week, several upper stage issues affected space missions. The first Ariane 6 launch experienced a problem where the upper stage couldn't relight, impacting the mission's conclusion. A Chinese commercial Hyperbola 1 rocket lost its payloads due to an anomaly in its fourth stage on July 10. Additionally, a Falcon 9 rocket's upper stage engine malfunctioned on July 11, potentially resulting in the loss of a batch of Starlink satellites. China has launched six Long March 6A rockets since March 2022. The second flight in November 2022 also resulted in a cloud of debris. The Long March 6A is China's first rocket combining new kerosene liquid oxygen and solid propellant technologies. It differs from the standard Long March 6 with its 3.35 meter diameter compared to the 2.25 meter diameter of the standard version. More Long March 6A launches are planned in the coming months. In May this year, China introduced the Long March 6C using the 6A core stage without side boosters. The country aims for about 100 launches this year, with around 30 planned by commercial launch service providers, according to CASC, SASTI's parent company, and China's main space contractor.